Prepare yourselves. The bells have tolled. Shelter your weak, your young, and your old. Each of you shall pay the final sum. Cry for mercy! The reckoning has come! <laughs> Even though he only manifests during the Halloween season, no one knows the horrors that gave rise to the Headless Horseman. His wrath and fell energy indiscriminately attack all who cross his path. So far, no one has managed to extinguish the fell fire of his incarnate rage. He wasn't always a billion as we know him these days. He has a past. Formerly known as Sir Thomas Thompson, a paladin of Lord Aeron who witnessed the fall of Stratholme at the hands of Prince Arthas. Like Uther and Jaina, he disagreed with that decision, insisting that it wasn't the right choice. Thomas's town received a shipment of grain sent by Baron Rivender. However, what he didn't know was that this grain was contaminated with the Scourge Plague, turning his entire town into undeath. Thomas prayed to the light, begging for the Scourge Plague to come to an end, but his prayers fell on deaf ears. Faced with a difficult decision, Thomas was forced to confront and defeat the zombies, finally reuniting with his family. They contemplated what they should do, as each passing day, the plague unleashed by the Scourge became more dangerous. At that moment, Arthas had already murdered his father, Terenas, and his great mentor, Uther the Lightbringer. Thomas urged his family to seek refuge with Jaina in Kalimdor, believing they would be safe. Meanwhile, Paladin Thomas joined Alexandros Mograine in the fight against the plague, battling for several years. Unfortunately, the Ashbringer's wielder met his demise at the hands of his own son, Darion Mograine. This event led many paladins to distance themselves from the Scarlet Crusade to form their own orders. However, Sir Thomas remained loyal to the Crusaders and continued to fight against the plague. Sidon Datrohan, who was actually Balnazar disguised as a Crusader, led Thomas to a refuge filled with villagers infected by the plague. There, he urged him to eliminate all the infected villagers, reminding him of the events in Stratholm where he disagreed. Now, he accepted the order to kill the infected, initiating a massacre in the name of the light. What he didn't know was that his own family was present at that place. He didn't know that his family didn't manage to escape to Kalendor because the ship that was supposed to sail was damaged in a storm, and no one could communicate to Thomas what had happened. As a result, his family had to take refuge in the nearest place, precisely where Thomas had carried out his devastating massacre. Unfortunately, he unknowingly murdered his own family, plunging into a state of shock and fury upon discovering the truth. His sanity out of control, he was confined to the Scarlet Monastery, where he gradually descended into madness. Thomas began to scream, speaking rhymes, and howl, especially during the Halloween celebrations in Lordaeron. Sidon encouraged Thomas to set aside his sadness and rejoin the fight against the plague. Although Thomas succeeded in killing many undead, he also murdered members of his own order without distinction between allies and enemies. The crusade was forced to decapitate him to stop his violent and uncontrollable actions. Thomas was buried honorably, but peace eluded his remains. Sidon, who turned out to be the demon Balnazar, used fell magic to resurrect his body and transform him into what we all know as the Headless Horseman. Every Halloween, the Horseman emerges to terrorize and engulf all inhabitants of Azeroth in flames. Told, shelter your weak, your young and your old! 
Each of you shall pay the final sum. Cry for mercy! The reckoning has come!